Radiological warfare is any form of warfare involving deliberate radiation poisoning or contamination of an area with radiological sources. Radiological weapons are normally considered weapons of mass destruction, although radiological weapons can be specific in who they target, such as the radiation poisoning of Alexander Litvinenko. In the 1964 edition of the DART AEC book The Effects of Nuclear Weapons, a section titled Radiological Warfare details some of the most common WMDs. The fission products from a conventional nuclear explosive weapon or as much a radiological weapon as weapons solely designed for the purpose of mass radiological warfare. The standard high-fission thermonuclear weapon is automatically a weapon of radiological warfare, as dirty as a cobalt bomb. Initially, gamma radiation from the fission products of an equivalent size fission fusion fission bomb are much more intense than CO60. 15,000 times more intense at one hour, 35 times more intense at one week, 5 times more intense at one month, and about equal at 6 months. Thereafter fission drops off rapidly so that CO60 fallout is 8 times more intense than fission at one year and 150 times more intense at 5 years. The very long-lived isotopes produced by fission would overtake the 60 Co again after about 75 years. Other salted bomb variants that don't use cobalt have also been theorized. A far lower tech radiological weapon than those discussed above is of dirty bomb, radiological dispersal device, which refers to a conventional, explosive bomb with a radiological side effect due to strapping radiation sources to it is a very inefficient way to spread radiation, and all such weapons have problems that render them likely impractical for military uses. Rather, radiological warfare with dirty bombs would be a vastly more used to terrorists spreading or intensifying fear, uncertainty and doubt. The release of radioactive material may involve no special weapon, and include no direct killing of people from its radiation source but rather could make whole areas or structures unusable or unfavorable for the support of human life. The elevated radiation levels in the targeted areas would make these areas dangerous to humans. An area, once contaminated with radiation, is often expensive to clean up. Decontamination of the built environment would take time. Like landmines, radiological weapons can be used as an area denial weapons method.